parking. Okay. Well, I'll ask you a lot of questions. So okay. Should these sketches the last one? Yeah. That's fine. No, that's okay. That's all right. Fine. All right. She's gonna see. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> she'll see it somewhere. Yeah. She'll see it. <laughs> she'll see it eventually. She'll see it. Whenever. Oh, you're right. Yes. Okay. Well, hello again. Hello. Great to see you. <laughs> Me too. After all this time, I've seen you play yeah. over the years since we did our first interview. Mm -hmm. but now, this is a big deal, at least for, for me and your fans, to have this big album finally coming out. Yeah. How big of a deal is this for you? Because I know it's been a long it's a ride to get here. Yeah, it's a huge deal. It's taken a really long time. Um, am I excited? Yes, I'm so excited. But I feel like a few people have kind of been like, are you even excited? Like you know, that are kind of involved, and it's like, well, yeah, but like it's it it's taken so long. I, mean, I don't know when something takes that long, you're just like, let's just get it out, <laughs> you know, just get it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of how I feel, but I'm really excited. Right. Well, you yeah. haven't stopped. I mean, you've, you've been putting out music for the last few years, and it's all mm -hmm. been people are saying wonderful things. What's that been like? Just the road here, as you've been kind of rising. You've not, you haven't stopped and stopped recording. You haven't stopped touring. That's for sure. Um, it's been crazy. Yeah. It's it's just wild. Yeah, there's been a ton of, I've been touring the last two years, yeah. just a lot. Um, and that was part of why it took so long to finish the album was because I, when I was home, I was in the studio, but then it was like, it's like, I don't know, you know, I was going back out on the road constantly. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of, it's kind of weird switching back and forth, like to get in that creative mode and then like you're back out on the road and then you're, you know, so um, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, I've been touring and working on the album, and that's been my life, you know, mm -hmm. like, um, and it's been, it's been, it's been really fun and really hard, and, yeah. And a lot of these Jesus. songs. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but good Jesus heart. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, these, no, but a lot really of these songs have been, you've debuted them to crowds for the first time instead of people hearing them yeah which I think is which is which is cool yeah like I've heard songs on stage that I haven't heard you know that are on the album now yeah and a lot yeah of we've done a lot of that yeah yeah so what's it like to, to bring those songs to a crowd first and you kind of work them out on the road is that help with the whole recording process is you have to live those songs for maybe six months or a year before you lay them down it does I think the good thing um, is that, I mean, I actually had already laid a lot of them down though, like, okay. the, you know, that we were playing, but yeah. we were just like, it was more like bells and whistles and sure. it took a lot of like, perfecting stuff. Yeah. But a lot of them had already been laid down. Um, and it's just, um, God, I'm like blanking out right well, that's now. That's all right, that's all right. But it's, it's, it's still, it's a big deal for people that, one, people that have followed you for a couple years, now to have a full album of, of Meg music, most of it new, obviously. Yeah. Um, Kind of being unleashed into the world, and then it's, you're going to get a whole new group of fans that are going to happen this fall. Yeah. I would think now that, for what it's worth, when an album comes out, it's a, it's a big deal for for an artist, whether it's a CD or it's digital or whoever. It is. Know. Yeah, I'm excited to just to you know, like put something out that that I feel so proud about, but that I've that was inspired so much by different things than my other EPs were inspired mm -hmm. by, like. You know, my old EPs were very inspired by breakups mm -hmm. and love and all, you know, and of course that music will always be, you know, inspired by that for me, but yeah. a lot of this album was really inspired by being on the road mm -hmm. and being in difficult situations and like, uh, as a whole, I feel like that is what it kind of, you know, it's more about like life and situations and, and those kind of experiences than just breakups and, yeah. you know. Um, and that's cool. yeah. I mean, if I if that hadn't happened, if it if it really if it didn't take two years to do you know because of all the touring, then I wouldn't have it wouldn't be what it is. And yeah. Mm -hmm. How have you changed the most over the last few years? Because you seem on stage, you seem like you've developed into even more confident performer, and mm -hmm. your vocals are stronger in every way. And you just you know you were awesome then, and it seems like wow, yeah. it's nice to watch you even get even better and better as the time has gone on. Thank you. Um, you feel I that. Oh, Internally? of course, yeah. I've, I think I've changed the most in the last like year even than, I, I said that in an interview recently, like yeah. I've changed more in the last year than I have like, you know, in such a short time span like ever in my life. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's just, 
doing a lot and you know and, and going through a lot of things um, how have I changed I've been through a lot of shit man yeah. <laughs> can I say that you can say that <laughs> okay um, that's it yeah. you know and that will really that'll really make you grow fast mm -hmm. I think um, in, in good and bad ways but mm -hmm. I think the good ways that I've grown at least musically is that you know, when I was writing these songs, I really needed to, I'm just like staring over here trying to think, I need to look <laughs> at you. I really needed to like, I, you know, I was writing a lot of dark songs yeah. over the last few years. And over the last year, it's just like, okay, I can't, I can't only express, I need something else. I needed mm -hmm. something else. And it, my way of, you know, Finding that something else was just expressing some sort of like joy in my songs. Um, I don't. Have you, I don't even know if have you heard the whole album. I have. The, the Finally, album? Not okay. yesterday, so I'm just cool. starting to live with it all okay. right now. Oh yeah, yeah. That's great. You know, I've been digging. So Motel and Feather, which yeah. is the first and last song, and I, f I feel like those two songs like really sum up um, just everything in the whole mm -hmm. and the album as a full, which is why yeah did it, did it like that first and last. Yeah. But, um, but they're very like dark and God like I need help, but then it's like you know, pull, like pull yourself up and, mm -hmm. and find joy from all the pain sort of thing. And I really feel like that's how I've grown the most is just like being able to find joy in difficult situations, yeah. you know? When did you know you can do that as an artist where that, that works for you as an artist to, to have that music as that release, as that outlet, and you can kind of get through that? And yeah, like when did that really yeah. strike me or when did that... Yeah. Um, Thing you've always I, had, or has it been more recent? Last few years. It's been more recent. Yeah. yeah, it's been more. It's been more recent. I'm. I think that that. I like. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's something that happens as you start getting older sure. too. Like, you know, you, when you're young, you are like. Not that I was angsty, but I was definitely like. You know, I was. I was kind of, and I was like, this, just wanted to like express all these like. You know, right. Ah, and, you know, and and. And you get older, and it's just like I don't know. I'm I'm not, I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking like I'm old, but I I, get I feel it. like it sometimes. A couple <laughs> years know? on the road, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you start you start understanding all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you just. But that element's still there. Obviously, the angsty element gets to have a, you know. It is. Yeah, I feel like the angst ha has turned from, um, turned into more of like a, even more of like a little bit of a sadness than mm -hmm. you know like. Um, like I have a quote in Motel yeah. from Towns Van Zant, and I feel like what he says is so perfect. It's like it's not sad. It's like kind of hopeless feeling, which we all go through. And I feel like taking that, and you know, when you're in that place, like you can't, you can, just, if you're gonna, if you live in it, then that sucks. And you're just like, God, I gotta pull myself up, mm -hmm. you know. So. Mm -hmm. um, and you pull yourself up literally on the stage. A lot of people have seen your performances. You kind yeah. of you go through that, you let yourself go through that, and yeah. you kind of rise out of that. And the audience kind of rises out of that with you. Mm -hmm. Where the first time I saw you really get that way, I was generally like, I was concerned about what was going on on stage. And it's, it's thrilling yeah. as, a, as somebody, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> you know, that, but well, it's not an act though. And you know, it's, those are your real emotions. Yeah. But you're able to come through that and one, deliver a show and it's entertaining, but you're also going through this personally and this is stuff that comes from your heart. Yeah. You know, yeah. which, you know, not every artist can pull that off. So that's something, you know, special for, people that you know, did what you do. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, there was a, I had this conversation with my mom recently and yeah. we were saying like, how can I get through these shows? You know, after touring a lot, right. it's like night after night, being so tired, you know, running on like two to four hours of sleep. How can I get through these shows, you know, and still be real, you know, but without letting it affect me so much? Cause it affects me and, um, you know, it's just, it's completely draining. It's like, I just give everything, mm -hmm. and, but it's like, okay, there's gotta be a way, there's gotta be a way. You know, I, I try meditating, I'm like trying to like find, do things, and my mom was saying like, well maybe like if you just treat it like an act, like maybe you can go out and, and just like, like you're an actress and you can still, you know, get in the part and everything, but like, I can't do that. Like, mm -hmm. I, I really, I actually tried, and I was like, after like, five seconds of a song, I was like, no, I can't, you know, I, there's, that's, that's not, yeah, it's just, but, so I haven't really figured it out either, like, how to, like, afterwards right, come right. back to, <laughs> yeah. you know. I mean, is that tough for you, literally, like, when you're done and you have to say, you know, be friendly to someone, I'm sure you have fans come up to you and they're, and because yeah. your songs touch probably a lot of people, they'll come up to you afterwards and 
they want to talk to you and hear your stories and how do you balance all that emotion? Um, well, usually after the show I'm so drained that I'm just like, you know, yeah. and I'm just like, yeah, like, yeah, nice to, and it's, and it's, yeah. I, I'm appreciative and it's right. like so great, to t but it's, I, there's definitely more of a, um, not a disconnect, but it, it, there's just not, I'm not, all the emotion is gone, so yeah, it's, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, it, it does become a little bit robotic as much as everyone <laughs> might hate to hear that, but like, it has to, yeah. you know, it has, yeah. I, you know, otherwise I, you know, or I could not do it, but I don't, I don't want to do that because I want to like, it means so much to me. Like a lot of times they'll tell me stories and stuff, like fans will tell me these really intense stories and and then I, it kind of like, won't hit me sometimes until the next day. Like, like whoa, and then, you know, I can't stop thinking about it. I'm yeah. like, oh, I wish I like reacted more or something. Cause it's just like, oh, cool, oh, oh, wow, thank you so much. But it's like, you know, so just so you guys know, I hear you <laughs> and I take it in, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> yeah. When, you, when you're on stage in those moments and they happen during the show and you're, during the more, you know, uh, physical moments, the more dramatic moments, and you're really yeah. giving it your all, what kind of things are going through your head? Um, hmm. are, you, are you feeling and seeing the audience at that point? Is it internal at that point? Or, or talk about that kind of that dynamic you have yeah, with everything. It really depends on the audience, too, you know? If the audience is, if it's like one of my headlining shows and just like all my fans are there and there's just that, that feeling in the room, that energy, and um, it's it's it, it's like I'm connected to them, definitely. You know, um, if it's not, if it's like a maybe it's a festival or but but lately, honestly, like even the festivals, I've been yeah. like I've been having a lot of fans at everything lately, and it's been it, yeah. you know all the shows have been really just getting better and better mm -hmm. with like with that energy from the crowd, so. But what goes through my head? I don't know. I'm like, man, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> it's working. Right I don't out. even know. Don't yeah, try it's to think kind about of just. It's yeah. kind of like. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> you know, just whatever needs to go through there. I guess. I think a lot of times I'm probably not in my head. Um, yeah. If I am, if I am too much in my head, then I'm gonna start sucking. So it's like. Right. You know, it's a, it's the one place that I can go to and get out. Right. You right. Know? Yeah. And the new songs talking. About, you know, I'm just letting them kind of wash over me over the course of a day. I don't really know them all yet but i've heard them and just uh you know the writing's gotten even better and stronger and, and Thank you. there's always this real sense of of song craft and and melody and, and production all just keeps getting better and working how hard is and i know you don't do it all alone but you obviously you're mm -hmm. yeah andy is, yeah. me and andy my yeah. producer sure dr rosen, dr. rosen. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but you guys have you know been a great team this up from getting better and stronger talk about mm -hmm. that and how much easier it's gotten for the two to work or is it is it harder but the song craft has gotten you know, even better. These are these are all these songs. Listen to them. These, these could be hit Thank songs. You. you know. Thank you. Just yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff, Chelsea. For real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, um, just just that craft of songwriting and how much that process done to you enjoy together. And yeah, I mean, me me and Andy. You know, we've been working together for a long time. We did the first two EPs together. Yeah. And it it's it's been beautiful working with him. I, I I really have a hard time collaborating, and he's one of the only people that I can do that, that with. Um, you know that I've been able to do that with because I have. I've tried with a couple other mm -hmm. people, and it's and it's hard. Like you have to really feel like you're in a safe space with that person. Mm -hmm. Um, I was gonna say I'm sure you've been loyal because I'm sure over the years you have people pulling at you that want to do this with you and try this yeah, and try that, but yeah, you, you, you know. Well, I think that too is like it's important. It was important to me for this album for it to be like I know there's a lot of ups and downs and there's a lot of different sounds and different songs, but all in all, like I wanted it to be a, a body of work. And how can it be a body of work if I'm working with all these different all, right. in all these different directions? You know. Um, it's like a relationship. If you're in a relationship and you're putting all this work into it, like it's going to get better, you know, hopefully, or fall apart. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> One or the other, but hopefully it gets better. Yeah. But yeah, it's the same thing. Like if I'm like, but you're not, but it, then it's like if you're sleeping around and you're not in one, you know, right. it's like, 
probably gonna it'd be probably gonna be kind of chaotic, you right. know. So that's kind of how I feel about it. It's like I wanted it to be like that's a really weird metaphor that I just can't. So you've, been faith, you've been faithful on this record. Uh, I've been really faithful yeah. on this record. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but our process has changed, like song to song. To um, it's been like. There's been some really emotional times on it too. I will say, you know, like recording it. Mm -hmm. I, I love writing songs, and I loved the writing process. The recording process sucks. Yeah. You know, it's like it's just like repetitive and over and over again, and trying to like give it your all every single time, because but also sound good. You know, mm -hmm. like it can't have it can have character, but not as much as maybe live. Right. You know. So it's like it was really emotional sometimes. There's a couple songs that I can point out. I'm like, yeah, I was crying there, you know. <laughs> but uh, gosh, I'm yeah. Pouring all that it, emotion into this into this album because it's all there, you know. Now that people are gonna have this stuff to listen to as of you know they already have a few songs. But as of this weekend, people could be, you know, digging the yeah, Sorry record in uh, their in their cars and their living rooms. Is, is it weird to say it's just a relief? Like, <laughs> <That's good. laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Are you already moving on though, in, in musically? I mean, you're, you're going to present these songs now to, at least to you know, the states over the next few months. So that's a big deal. Taking these songs out on the road is a different feeling. Yeah. Now the music's behind you and the album's out. Is, it, is there a sense of that's done? I can just go do my thing. Um, I mean, there's just a sense of like I, I'm excited for everybody to hear it. I'm excited to perform a lot of these songs that no one has heard and a lot of like my really like hardcore fans, you know, will be so excited I feel like to hear live. Yeah. Um and and it will help me grow too just performing these songs that I've never performed live and my it's always fun too for my just voice too to like learn new things like, oh I did that. You right. know? Um but as far as like musically moving on, um I don't know, I don't know. Like I know there's so many things that I want to try. Um, in the future, musically. Different producers? No, I'm kidding. No, that's not even a thing. Like, I mean, that's not a thing at all. I've yeah. never even, I have no idea of a producer. I can't even, I can't name exactly. one right I was now. Just joking after no, no, I, I, yeah, no, but it's like, I don't even, you know, I just, right. but I have like different styles and stuff that I would like to, I know people will probably hate to hear that, but, um, but. But even on this record, it's not all one. It's not all one style. It, it sounds like Meg Myers, but you've, yeah. you know, you've expanded on on the palette as it were, and. And that's the one thing that I will always do too. Is I will always, I think that it'll always be obvious that it's me. But it's not, it is nice to try other things, and mm -hmm. you know I I think that that's like, it's needed to for growth to try new things. You know, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't do you, is it don't you think it's weird when people just do the same it's like this exact thing like their whole life musically? Yeah, it's not, ex it's not exciting. The best artists are the ones that challenge like, themselves like into something new. And, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. definitely have and. Robert Plant. Robert Plant is For like sure. a really great example. I feel like, yeah. Yeah. He has a new album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. It's gonna sell Robert Plant's album. Why not? Why not? <laughs> and he certainly isn't going backwards. Yeah, that's yeah. For sure. yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> and, and in terms of um, going forward, in terms of what this album can bring, and you've had this steady rise of fame and popularity, probably in a in a, in a good way, but not in an overwhelming way, where. Mm -hmm. You know, new new thousands of fans probably every few months, and that's been growing. So, yeah. are you ready then for what? This next, the next chapter can bring this next, you know, hopefully this fall and into the new year with this, with this album can be, you know. Yeah. And I was ready for that a couple of years ago. I was thinking, I thought you'd have a Grammy a couple of years ago. This stuff was so good. But uh, I think this, this next year could really be the year I, that. I think that happened. I'm glad that that didn't happen. Yeah. You know, I think that I'm glad that, um, that it's taken some time so that I had the time to grow. Yeah. You know, I needed that. Um, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm. I am very ready to, for whatever is to come. Bring it on, you know. Yeah. Um, How have your goals and dreams changed since you've started doing this and started, you know, in the professional sense? Like, if you, if you look towards next year, like, where would you like to see this go? I. It's hard to answer because yeah. I'm like, where would I like to see this go? But it's going the right direction. I just sure. want. Yeah, it is. No, it's 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 been headed in the right. I just want. Listen, I just want to do. I just want to play music. You know, that's what I want. Like, I want to play music. I want to keep evolving. I want to, and I want to give people good music. Like, 
I don't really know. Whatever, whatever happened, I don't want to be like, I want to be this big star, you know, right. like, like if I said that and then I became them and I was like, oh, like this isn't, like who, who knows? I'm always, you know, I'm going to keep growing so I don't really know how I'm going to feel about things like year to year, you know. Um, right now, I just, I just want to do music. That's it, you mm -hmm. know, that's really all I can say. I don't have like a, like, a crazy vision. I have a feeling, yeah. I think, and I've always had a feeling that things were gonna do well, you know. Um, but I don't have a vision. Is, it, is that is that no. strange? I don't know. It's working. <laughs> whatever you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But being able to take though that music and in, in the rawness and stuff like that, that we've talked about, and being able to to have that lead to. You know, not to diminish that, not to censor yourself, and then to have that succeed yeah. is, must be a good feeling as an artist to really be yourself and see people respond to that. It is, yeah, it really is. I think that's really important, and you know, I think even like from well, because we spoke a few years ago, yeah. and I think even from then until now, with like interviews and with you know the stuff around the music, I feel like I've gotten, it's gotten easier as far as like, just like, ah, who cares, you know, like, I'm just going to be right. myself, like, I can't, and be honest, like, I really can't take it, you know, out yeah. of that seriously and be like, yeah. Well, it's cool you're able to, you're able to do that and kind of embrace all the aspects of it, but know that you can keep doing your thing, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's important just to. For everyone to be themselves and like in every aspect, as, at least as much as you can, you know. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that we got it covered. You think we covered it. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we want to talk about? Since Lemonize is, on, yeah, yeah. I guess okay, that sure. would be a good idea. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit Lemonize. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, Lemonize came out over the summer. That's just the big single. We've been putting put words what what that song is about. And yeah. How people are responding to that one? Um, Lemon Eyes is not as dark of a song as a lot of my other, you know, the last, the past songs that I put out. Um, it's got a little more personality, I feel like, in the like peppy world, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's still like um, li lyrically was kind of intense for me. Like it's about jealousy and how hard that is. Um, Originally, it was like about jealousy, feeling jealousy from someone else, and you know, and like reassuring them that they're yours and you love them, and you know, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And as time has gone on, it's kind of like twisted into this it's me, I feel like it's me, I'm singing about myself, and that happens a lot on some of my songs, a lot of my songs, but um, especially on this one. I feel like it's like I'm kind of talking to myself because I can be a really jealous person and yeah. and um, it's kind of like a little like telling, my, shaking my finger at myself every time I sing it, you know. So no, no, it's, it's great to have songs like that that can make you aware. Make you, there's a reason you wrote <laughs> it in the first faults. place, right? Yeah, it makes me crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and talking about Motel, yeah, yeah, Motel yeah. just officially came out mm -hmm. today. Hopefully, yeah. you know, you can put the words that that one's all about because that. That's a cool one. Oh, thank you. Motel is my favorite one on the album. Uh, it just like, I feel like it expresses um, how I feel just the best out of all the songs on the album. Um, mm -hmm. And that is um, what I was talking about earlier, what we were talking about earlier, just being, that one is specifically about being on the road a lot and feeling really lonely and lost and you know, just having having a hard time and um, and needing something, just needing hope. Um, when I wrote it, it was a, originally like pretty a pretty dark song, like not musically. You know, I think musically it is kind of beautiful yeah. and a little more upbeat. But like, what basically what happened was I found the Towns Van Zant quote, mm -hmm. and I was like. That is that explains exactly what I've always wanted to. What I've never been able to put into words. He explained, and I, it fit perfectly in the song. And I put it, and then it really like transformed the song for me. That quote, like it was like you know taking the sadness and turning it around, and mm -hmm. um, being being able to find happiness from it. And that's when like you know just at, it's like the end. It kind of switches yeah. and turns into a more joyful song. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, God bless him. Thanks for that quote. Yeah. 
What other artists do you still find inspiration from? Because I remember you talking about the artists that you that you dig, like you know Sting, and we're talking about Mark Knopfler and people like that. And yeah, artists still, all across I the still board. love That's him cool. so much. Yeah, yeah he's I in town will. in a couple of days actually. He's in town. He's playing this weekend. Yeah. Uh, Sting. Mark Knopfler. Really? Yeah. Oh God, I would love to see him. We'll turn that would just, oh, you yeah. know, brings back so many memories. Right, 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 right. Um, what artists do I love? Somebody that I've been really into lately is Ryan Adams. Oh yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I've heard a lot of his stuff growing sure. up, but, and you know, I, some of his covers, cause he's covered a right. lot of stuff, but he's amazing. Like I've been just like devouring his music lately. He's put out so many like EPs and, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I really, really, I think he's an amazing musician and artist and I even just like love to work with him one day. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes, that's what I want to do next. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. What's it like having artists like, if it has not other artists probably come up to you now and probably want to work with you and you probably met people on the road and met people, because you've been doing this a long time now. It must be a neat feeling knowing that you have other artists saying the same things about you that you've you know, said about them. Yeah, it's, that's so cool. It's so weird too, yeah. you know? I don't think it, it like hits completely yet, but I hope there's like artists out there too that um, that I really admire and that would be cool that, that I want to work with that might think the same thing like maybe after the, after the album's out that would be great but um, but I don't have um, I don't have many though I will say I don't have I don't have a ton you yeah. know because there's even artists that I love but I wouldn't necessarily want to work with them right you know because. It might just not be the right fit, or like, and I and I don't want to ruin it too. It's right. like some artists you love so much, and it's like I don't want to meet them. I yeah. don't want to, you know, I don't want to mess anything up. Like, right, right, right. Because I will say that's happened, and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say who, but yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, awesome, <boy>. man. <laughs> well, congratulations Thank on you. everything. Thank yeah. you. The album's awesome. Thank you. Can't wait to really, really ah. spend time with it. Thank yeah. you. It's good stuff. Yay. Okay. I brought a CD up for you because I don't know if you still listen to I listen to CDs in my car. Yeah, no, of course. Like, yeah, I got to see the yeah. physical copy today, which was cool. That's right, I can't wait. Like, yeah. It's weird. Are you doing vinyl yeah. too? Are you getting an album made? Vinyl will be a couple weeks later. That's, what I, that's the one that I want. I want to yeah. have a, a vinyl. That's so much fun. With my, you know. We sort of rolled into the interview without an introduction. Do you want to play? I'm going to do a little something now. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> with me? With you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nobody wants you. Me? <laughs> like sweating. Leg like, like sweat. Should I move too straight or? What do you think, Joe? You're, you're good. What I'm gonna do is come off of a single and then open up and reveal her. No one wants a single. Yeah. Huh? I don't know how long it's gonna be. We'll try to make that. You do a big reveal. Yeah. Big reveal. Should we sit the same way? No, no. You <laughs> sit. You sit the way you are because I'm gonna open up <laughs> okay. and come to you. Okay. No copy me. You'll be in trouble. What do you do with your hands in these things? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Whatever you do will be cool. <laughs> I gotta think of something to say first. Whenever you're ready. Alright. Yeah, that's right. I am back with the one and only Meg Myers, who has a great new record out. Welcome, Meg. Thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> so, one more time. You were great. Stand by. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's funny. Cool video. And you come got back it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Here you go, ready? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. My Roll video? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be great. That's Robert Plant's video. Yeah, Robert Plant! Right <laughs> yeah. This is the intro. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's right. I'm thrilled to be back with Meg Myers, one of my favorites, and she has a great new record out. Thank you. Cool, that work? That work? Yeah. All right. Okay, hold it. Hey.